Okay. So, just waited for some people to join the stream. Looks like we have one guy. Okay. I haven't done a reptile video in a long time because I have a second channel where I just do reptile videos uh, or plant videos or nature stuff, which is obviously I like dinosaurs and animals, so this is what stuff I'm going to be into. Um, yeah, this is unexpected, yeah. Uh, so I also wanted to take this time to just, you guys can look at something nice and let me explain some things. Um, and overall, just talk about how I made this. So I don't think this will last as for growing these plants is, is super hard to do um especially in a terrarium setup I guess uh it's not that different I guess kind of I don't know but you have to have like very low like um what's the word nutrients in your soil which is like really hard to do I don't this is eco earth that's the soil eco earth with uh uh peat moss so like it can hold the moisture and then a layer of gravel at the bottom. So I don't really know, like, uh, if this soil is going to work. I guess we'll see in a couple of days. I'll always update you guys to a couple of videos. So I guess this is like, I realized that, you know, doing, well, first of all, my mouse is broken. So I'm kind of limited on what I can play. I was going to do an aisle video today to get a two upload since I had been gone for quite some time. Um, so, but my mouse is broken. So playing the aisle, it's going to be impossible um because the mouse like d-pad and stuff that came with my laptop is broken so pretty much you can bite sometimes if you're running though you can't bite at all which i don't know why like i don't know maybe like the w key is connected to the space or uh, to the um attack thing i i, I don't know so I'm, I'm kind of been limited recently on my video game options especially because dinosaur simulator I'm on and off about the game. I said I was quitting, but now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, really, should I? I don't know, because I enjoy the game. It's just that I don't have many people to play the game with, nor is it that fun sitting AFK as a Barosaurus for five hours just to get some DNA and spend it all on some models. That Even some models I don't like, but I just buy it for you guys. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys are sick of me. Uh, sick of me like critiquing and remodeling that game so kind of like I don't know what to do you know uh I kind of wanna uh like drift away from the Roblox category but at the same time terrarium builds and like reptile stuff because I have a lot of reptiles <laughs> like you guys want to know I have a turtle corn snake hopefully getting a blue tongue skin because I always love those two fish tanks with a pleco in one of them and a leopard gecko, which no, I don't use sand. I'm not retarded. I hate what I swear. I hate. I, I run across these YouTube videos where people are like, oh yeah, you, you want to put some sand in? I get so angry, and then someone's like, oh no, use calcy sand, and they're wrong too. So use eco earth, by the way, because sand causes impaction. So I have some moss and stuff, so I will update you guys probably in like a month. But, like, I hate having to wait a whole month just for a YouTuber to post a video. I have some shrimp and water. But, yeah. Uh, I have, like, a fish tank going on. It's, like, it has, uh, it doesn't have gravel. It has aquarium soil. And then I have some hair grass in it. And I'm just letting a bunch of algae grow on the sides. Because I've been realizing that there was, like, a piece of hair grass that was, like, floating. And the algae, like, I guess it got, like, the algae made, like, a string. And I guess it got stuck on it, and now, like, it's connected to the string. It looks really weird, so I'm just going to see what happens with that. And then I have to, like, adjust, like, I have to get a heater and, like, some uh, lower the pH and stuff because I want to make it for Neon Tetris or Cardinal Tetris. I don't know. Either one. And uh, so, like, I have to get that stuff. So I'm like, all right, well, I might as well just do this. And I think I'm going to add, like, apple snails because apple snails are so cool. Um, especially if you look up blue apple snails, they're not legitly blue, but their bodies are black and some have like orange, uh, spots. Um, but yeah, so like reasons why I've been gone recently is honestly, I'm, I'm hundred percent honest with this one person who is watching. I've been quite the lazy person, but it's not just that you see school and stuff like middle school, you get so much work. I hate it's retard. It's retarded. I have, like, I'm at least doing homework for two hours, and then I play video games for, like, two hours, and you guys, like, so it's, it's evened out. 
But I um, guess you some you guys are like, oh, well, you have two hours to play video games. Why are you not recording? It's because recording, I don't know why. I just, I'm not good when it comes to recording. I'm not myself, pretty much. Uh, you do? You're homeschooled? That's weird. Um, so, yeah. That's with that. And, like, all my friends like to do is play Fortnite. And I enjoy Fortnite. But I don't think it's a good... Like, I love playing Fortnite. I'm so bad at it because it's my first gun game, but I still enjoy the heck out of it. Like, I have Max Drift. I have, like, a lot of good skins from Battle Passes mainly. I mean, the only good skin I have that's not from a Battle Pass is Vertex. So, it's like... I don't know. Like, Fortnite's too clickbaity. I don't like it. I do not like it as a YouTube thing to do. But yet again, all I've been doing recently is Fortnite because... I only have one friend who's into, like, dinosaur stuff, and even then, like, he only has, like, an Xbox and an iPad, so most dinosaur games are on, like, PC and stuff, and even then, like, the aisle requires a really expensive one, so it's, like, kind of, like, hard for him to get a hold of that, and my other friends just, like, are all about Fortnite, gun games, and basic Call of Duty stuff, so it's, like, you know, I want to, like, do a Discord thing and, like, get, like, online friends and stuff, and I've tried it multiple times, and all my Discord servers end up dying because I'm busy with schoolwork and playing more Fortnite. <laughs> it's just a repetitive cycle, so I, I don't know what to do. Oh, we got a second person. Let's go. I don't know what to do. I'm just like, do I record Fortnite, but Fortnite's super clickbait. I made that, like, Fortnite giant bass thing, and it was just, like, me showing off this giant bass, pretty much, which I was pretty proud of. Me and my friend built it. It wasn't the greatest thing, but it was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, like, I'm I'm stuck. That's why I haven't been posting lately, because when I come home, I'm like, all right, well, the one time I have motivation to record, I'm just, like... What am I going to record? And soon enough, I have nothing to record. So then I just end up not doing it. And then it repeats on for about a week until, like, a dinosaur update comes out. But I'm like, I said I quit Dinosaur Simulator, but I have nothing else to post. So I post it anyways. And, of course, my last Dinosaur Simulator video that I just posted, the Halloween update, got cut short. So, like, I lost, like, half the creatures I reviewed in that update. I think I only had, like, one from the Part 2 update, which was the... Plateosaurus skin, and I was so annoyed. I was like, what the frick? So, that was a problem. Uh, so, yeah, I just need your guys' help. Should I do this? Should I, should I, my question is, should I drift away from gaming besides the aisle and do stuff like this? Uh, and animations, of course, but animations also take forever, so, like, those would be, like, a little, like, less of those, I guess. So yeah, that's really what I'm asking this one person. Or some people, once this video gets uploaded when I'm done streaming it, you guys can comment. Um, but yeah, that's just like the whole explanation thing of why I haven't been doing anything when it comes to this. Um, when it comes to YouTube. And I remember when I was like really deep into the Godzilla community, I was really deep into the dinosaur community too at the time. And I actually mainly did more uh, dinosaur videos, but I also did way more Godzilla videos than I do now. Way more, way more animations. So like, I was really tied up in that community. I had a lot of friends, like Mind Turtle Animations. You can go look him up, and he was at a lower subscriber rate than me. And all of a sudden, he just grew to two K. And I think it's because I didn't do as many animations. Um. So, I'm just like. Well, okay, that's great. And, like, other people... So, I was in the Godzilla community, and then, like, over time, gaming just kind of, like, took over. I enjoyed gaming way more. So then I started doing that, and I was like, okay, well, do I stick with the Godzilla community? Because I, I can't do gaming and stop motion and school and playing, like, having fun with my friends. All oh, It's too much. Yeah, so I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I'm going to, like, do, like, claymation stuff now. Like, with, like, dinosaurs and all that basic stuff. And then terrarium videos and all my animals. I guess I could do updates on those. Yeah, but it's just... I don't know. It's, like, I'm stuck in this loop and I don't know what to do. Um, so, yeah, you know. That's pretty much where I am right now. Uh, this is the terrarium thing. 
as well, right? Probably get back to that. So, I pretty much what I did was, I don't have, like, a light for this. So, like, during the day, I'll put it near the windowsill. This light right here is my uh, fish tank light. It's actually a clip-on that goes into the side of the tank. Because I thought, oh, that's way simpler. And my fish tank is actually not, like, a fish tank. It's actually a reptile tank, but it still works. I can still put a filter on it. I have a 10-gallon filter, and it's a 10-gallon tank, so it works out. Uh, that's, that filter's meant for 10 to 15 gallons and 5, so it works. Um, oh, I mean, like, it's, I think they have, like, 5-gallon filters, but, like, I, you could use a higher filter. It doesn't matter for a lower one. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. And now I'm, like, out of stuff to talk about <laughs> really easily. So I guess I may as well just take you guys here and take a little quick look at it. It looks pretty nice. I had a Venus flytrap and that died, and now after doing a little bit more research, I, mean, I did a lot of research, I just couldn't find any answers to anything. And I watched this one guy's video and it just helped so much. So I guess that works out. So it's kind of too late because that's dead. So I'm just doing, with the, doing this with the pitcher plant and hopefully it'll work. That one actually is somewhat dying. Um, or it was, now it's like, I'm like reviving it, so I know what to do now, and it's slowly, like, it's, it's not, it's honestly just staying the same, it's not dying, but it's not like healing, I mean, I think it's healing a little bit, very slowly, right, um, pops up, I think, yeah, it was like, was it posted um, seven hours ago? Because that's the one. It was like posted not too long ago. Um, yeah. Uh, what else could I do? I don't know. It's just a live stream of me talking about getting closer to people. And like I said, I've been so dead for so long with YouTube and stuff that like, I only have this person on my stream and that's it. I remember like... I used to have, even though I had lower subscribers, I'd posted way more, so, like, none of them would, would, like, drift off, like, oh, yeah, this guy doesn't post, I'm bored of him. Um, so it's just, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, now that I stopped uploading, I still have, like, a high rating of subs, but just no one watching, and... <laughs> What's the point of making videos when no one's gonna watch? I'd rather have five subs and yet have like a bunch of views because I know that it, that what I'm doing actually matters. People are actually like enjoying and stuff like that, you know. Um, but I guess enough for the serious talk. I might as well just get to the point. Uh, let's start showing off some things. So this is terrarium. This is the light right here, and I will blind you guys right now. There you go. That's what it looks like. Put that back up. So I'm going to move it near a window sill. <clears throat> but at night, I'll do this because I always turn off my aquarium at night uh, for like a regular cycle. I should probably start doing that on my turtle tank, more importantly, because there's actually things in there. But now, I guess, I can show off. I think I showed this off a very long time ago. And yes, I'm using a weight <clears throat> to hold this up. But here's my toad. This is a, um, I think a small male American toad. And then I have a big female in there, but she's hiding in her um, little uh, hut that I made with rocks, sticks, and hot glue. And a big chunk of it fell out because rocks are heavy and hot glue doesn't support rocks that well. Um, claymation stuff-wise, um, I have this really old model that I based it off of Fred the Dinosaur Man, uh, his Diplodocus art. And it's it's looking okay now, I guess. It is better to record a variety of long term. Yeah. I have like this. Oh my god. It keeps saying sign into iTunes. I don't know why. Uh, I have this white throat thing I did to it. So it's looking pretty good. Um, <clears throat> What else can I show you guys? Mm, I would show you like my turbulence and stuff. But I don't want to take them out because they get pissed. My turtle, I mean, my snake's tame, but that's a whole process taking him out because he sleeps under the water bowl, and there's, like, a line under the water bowl, and that's where, like, it curls up and hides in between there. Um, and then my t uh, red-eared slider is just not tame at all and hates everyone. Um, yeah, I guess I should probably do this, right? 
Yeah, an actual inside look. There you go. I can't wait. I have sphagnum moss in the dirt, like I said, from that video that we were just talking about. Um, so hopefully over time, I'll get sprouts of sphagnum moss, like, reviving itself, just growing. Because it was super dead sphagnum. I mean, it still had some green to it, I guess, but... I don't know. I heard sphagnum moss can just, like, come alive randomly, so... See how that works. Um... I don't know what to do. I want to keep the stream going, because I thought there'd be way more to talk about with this thing, but I guess not. Um, okay, so what I need you guys to do right now is in the live chat, just say whatever you want me to post tomorrow, and I'll try to get it out. Anything. I honestly don't care. Anything that I'm capable of doing, I'll let you know. Anything. Because I am dead out of ideas, so I need your support really bad. You think of any game, I'll play it even with a broken mouse just for the recording. Any animation, maybe, but animations really suck. I might not, if it's an animation, I might not get to it tomorrow, but I'll have it out eventually. Um, it'd be like a tour of all my animals I have. I guess I could also do that. So that, okay, tour of animals, that's what it's going to be. Okay, so this is checked off the list, so we're done with that. So I guess I have to do my leopard gecko. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Um, I go to, like, this White Plains Reptile Expo, which I'm saying White Plains because it's not near me. I mean, it is kind of near me. It's, like, a couple hours away. A couple hours, like, not, it's, it's not that long. Like, I could drive there in a day and come back home. Um... But it's at least over an hour, a little over. Um, so I go to that one usually half the time because they close the one near me. So that's what I'm doing now. And I, I went to the other ones and I'm like, well, okay. I was going to get a leopard gecko there, but I just didn't get to it because I didn't like the breeds. This is gonna work. Is it the weekend near you? Because <laughs> that's where it is for me. I mean, I still have like a little bit of... Projects. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> I hate projects. Why? Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh. Oh, hey. Look who it is. Barry Barry. What's up? Um, it's a pitcher plant thing that I've recently put together, and I hope that it actually works out. I, I don't know if it will. I mean... I don't have every exact requirement, so it might not work, but seeing the conditions that this thing is in now, and yes, I had it in like a Tupperware with like a Tupperware with really fertile dirt too, which you're not supposed to have. So I think this might work, and I have like peat moss in the soil to keep moisture in, and this is just a temporary light for my fish tank that I'll put over it overnight because I turn off the light in my fish tank at night. And then during the day, I'll just put this jar near a windowsill or something, let it get some more sunlight. Um, I got some moss on the steak and on the rock and stuff. So me mixing the peat moss in here, I hope eventually some growth starts to happen. I'm just honestly going to leave it be. And then if nothing happens, I'll just add in some like carpet plant. All right. See you. Gordius. I don't know how to say your name. Cool. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know what to do. I think, like, I feel like I'm done with this stream. I've said, like, everything. Why I can't upload crap because I'm literally out of ideas. <laughs> um, so tomorrow, I guess, yeah, I'll post that reptile tour of all my crap ton of animals. It's not a lot compared to most breeders. I'm not a breeder, though, but most reptile hobbyist people but to regular people i mean it's like i have like f five reptiles and no not i don't think yeah five so it's like it's not a lot but i don't really have a room because i have a lot of tanks and i don't have any more room and yet i might get a blue tongue skink which i have to find room for that which i do i do have room but I have to talk to parents and stuff on where that's going to go and how we're going to make that work. And then, um, I guess for the new person who joined the stream. Come here, buddy. This is my 
male American toad who is going to jump out of my hand soon. So I'll put him back. I have a big female, but she doesn't want to come out right now, so I guess I'm not doing that. And then clay thing that I made to plot a kiss based off Fred the Dinosaur's art, which Dinosaur Man, which I wish he uploaded more because um, he was ama he's amazing with that. I mean, I know he, like, does some development with the aisle, so, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know how much he's into it, though, so I don't know what he's doing when it comes to that, but... I hope he uploads some stuff. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Should I end the stream here? Here, actually? Better legs. Yeah, I know. It was a quick hold, though. I usually, like, cuff them in my hands. Usually you have to wash your hands, though, before you do that. Or, like, yeah, because they're skin-sensitive. They musk a lot, too, which is why I don't really hold my toads. Because the musk smells really bad and they never want to stay still. <laughs> I don't hold many of my animals either because my red-eared slider is a bitch and I always try to bite. My leopard gecko isn't tamed just yet, you know? Um, I mean, like, she hasn't bit me yet. When I first got her, she was always trying to bite me. Now when I pick her up, she's really squeamish and you can tell she sometimes thinks about it, so holding a lot of my animals my best animal that i could hold a lot is my corn snake because i've had her for a very long time and she's super tame so it's not that hard to do with my corn snake which is good um that's what i really uh handle i don't handle my dubia roaches because their legs they don't bite but their legs are so sharp because they have these things I, I have the dubia roaches for my leopard gecko and i can't my my leopard gecko is like a juvenile right now like, it's not, a, it's not like, I got it as, like, a hatchling, pretty much. So, it's it's big enough. I have fed it one whole dubia roach, which I'll never do again, because that was a big mistake. But pretty much when I do feed it to them, I, uh, or to her, I cut it in half. And I do each segment at a time. Uh, but once she's fully grown, I mean, I might still have to cut it in half. Or I might be able to do a whole, because it has eaten one whole before. What are we learning about today? Um why I haven't been uploading, and uh, things that I do off camera, pretty much. Yeah, I guess I can show you guys some stuff. So for the new person who joined the stream, this is like the pitcher plant terrarium thing that I recently just built like an hour ago. So I'm gonna see how it works out, and uh, I'll like do little uploads on it. So I'm trying to like, walk away from gaming but i feel like gaming like what makes my channel up so i don't know uh i guess i could show off some of my reptiles just cover up the camera because my room is an absolute mess <laughs> all right let's see okay so uh i guess we'll start with this okay this is my leopard gecko enclosure Thing. Don't use sand. Sand is bad. So, see so the moist hut here, the dry hut, water dish, which I have to fill up, but she never drinks out of it, so I'm not too concerned because all she does is lick the walls in there, so that's good. And I built this raised patch. I don't know why. It just kind of looks nicer, I guess. So, I'm going to work with that a little bit. And I guess, like I said, she sometimes bites, so I have to like try to. Let's see. This is just temporarily. It's probably gonna fall. But she's by so oh, she in there? Okay. Wait, she might be. No, she's usually in here. Yeah, she's in here. <laughs> okay. So this is pretty much just a container flipped upside down. There she is. Hi, bro. Hi, girl. <laughs> she's pretty. Try to pick her up. She's she might bite me. She hates me a lot. Oh my god, what is that focus? There you go. Don't bite, don't bite, don't bite, don't bite. There you go. There she is. Okay, yeah. She leans uh <laughs> I get scared. I know I heard leopard gecko bites don't hurt, but I also heard that red eared slider bites don't hurt. And I had my friend came over, 
And I, I said, do you want to get bit by it? And he's like, oh, yeah, sure, but it'll be for nothing. And apparently, according to him, it hurt like hell. So I don't really trust anyone with that now. So I'm always trying to keep an eye out on what I'm doing when it comes to getting bit by things. But <laughs> she's pretty. I used to feed her crickets, but crickets suck. So doobie and roaches are what we're doing now. All right. Yeah, she hates me. So we're just going to put her thing back up here. Press that in. Good. On to the next thing. Um, oh, yes. This will be fun. Most people think I'm insane. But you guys won't because we're nerds. So we know exactly what we're doing here. All right. Welcome to my... Granny Smith apple pie is smelling. Actually, never mind. It smells like rotting alcohol fruit. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so this, I, these apple slices have been in here for like a day. Less. I didn't smell so bad, but here's my doobie roaches. Yay. They're breeding too. And this ma the male's the only one that eats. I mean, the babies do too, but I never see the females eating, and I need them to eat for nutrients for babies, so. It's a little bit of a problem, and ew, that is stuck to there. There you go. Squeeze it a little bit, you'll see I'm gonna move around a little bit. It's really gross. Oh, great, someone's at my door. <laughs> um, so, I guess I'll just flip this over. Uh, ooh. Okay, put this back here. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much my dubia roaches. Pretty much, I have some tubes in here that they don't really use that much. Oh, there's a male in there. Okay, that's cool, I guess. It really stinks. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. That smells really bad. All right. So I think that's pretty much it, because then that'll technically be the reptile room tour thing, so, for tomorrow's video. So I'm going to end the stream here. It's been a while since I've done this, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. But, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.